morning dear students this is vishram singh meena assistant professor english working at government <coughs> city college karoli through online mode we are studying english literature the lecture of the day is uh, meant for the students of ba part first in Raj Akota University we will continue the poem set well this is one of the finest uh, poems written by john dryden it is a satirical poem written to ridicule thomas sadwell the, the poem was written in the year of 1678 and was printed in the year of 1682 who stands uh, confirmed in full stupidity the rest to some faint meaning make pretense but said will never deviate into sense some beams of wit on other souls may fall the poet ridicules thomas sedwell and says that uh, He is the fittest son of Richard Flacknow, an Irish priest who wrote petty poems without sense. He says that he is the rightful successor to his poetry, to his kingdom of poetry of nonsense. because thomas sedwell stands confirmed in full stupidity he is completely foolish man he is the first ranked stupid in uh, uh, dullness and nonsense as far as literature is concerned the rest do some faint mean make pretense he says that richard flacknow had many sons but they they had some kind of intelligence some kind of wit in their poetry but this was the man who didn't show any sign of wit in his literature the rest to some faint faint means uh, some dim light of intelligence they had while writing uh, pieces of poetry pieces of prose but this uh, a man never showed the sign of any intelligence in his literature that's why he is the complete and confirmed son who is the rightful successor to the kingdom of stability for richard flacknow but said will never deviate into sense some beams of wit on other souls may fall other souls means uh, uh, other sons of richard flacknow they showed some sign some beams some uh, sparks of wit in their literature but uh, uh, this man followed the path of stupidity and never debated debated means uh, go went away went away from the path of stupidity in literature he remained totally stupid person he 
didn't write uh, the literature of sense literature of wit literature of intelligence he was a totally nonsense writer who wrote much but nonsense but said will never deviates into sense some beams of wit on others who may fall strike through and make a lucid interval uh, they they mean other sense of uh, flag no strike through and make a lucid interval lucid means a clear interval of uh, getting some wit in their uh, literature but uh, thomas said well nevo debated the path of stability nevo debated uh, from the path of dullness in literature he remained totally dull as far as uh, literature is concerned strike through and make a lucid interval but said wells genuine night admits no ray but uh, tom said well was the literary man who did not allow even a single ray of intelligence single ray of wit to come in his poetry means his poetry remained a complete dark night genuine dark night genuine is stupid poetry what uh, said well a genuine night uh, at admits no ray his rising folks prevail upon the day rising folks means uh, there a uh, folks is a symbolic word to show the ignorance of uh, the poet he remained ignorant of the light of knowledge light of wit light of intelligence uh, to come in his poetry his rising folks free will free will means uh, they when upon the day means uh, uh, the day remained clouded clouded with the cloud of ignorance his rising folks free will upon the day besides is a goodly fabric fills the eye besides uh, means uh, besides uh, these qualities of thomas sedwell he was a goodly fabric means uh, he was a good looking fat man and uh, this uh, gives the sense of complete uh, is stupid he was he uh, never showed any activity the in his life remained a uh, very dull besides his goodly fabric fills the eye and seems designed for thoughtless majesty and uh, it looks like that uh, he has been designed by god to be stupid or to be the thoughtless majesty majesty means king of thoughtless of poetry thoughtless literature in english and seems designed for thoughtless majesty thoughtless is monarch oaks now he has been compared to uh, oaks the oaks are uh, the trees which are very dark and having uh, seeds and there is no greenery no production uh, under uh, uh, the seeds of uh, trees so in case with the sadwell sadwell was the monarch monarch means the prince of thoughtless poetry 
thoughtless as monarch oaks that shade the plain that shade the plain just as oaks are the big trees and their shade is all over the plains under them so is case with the Sedwell. Sedwell is the, the prince of thoughtless poetry and uh, he rules other sons, other uh, poets of uh, this kind of poetry in literature. Thoughtless as monarch, so we can find here uh, the example of simile. Thomas Sedwell has been compared to Oaks. and spread in solemn straight supinely rain just as uh, oaks are uh, spreading over the plain so is case with the thomas Sa sedwell who is very solemn solemn is very offensive or looks like the prince and uh, supinely rain rain means rule rule uh, the po the thoughtless poetry uh, very finely so finely means uh, very majestically just like the king just like the great king so here uh, uh, we can find that uh, uh, john dryden has employed the way of criticizing uh, thomas sedwell but uh, he is criticizing with uh, good words in uh, the form of irony we can call and spread in solemn straight supinely rain hayboot and surly were what types of the and now he is uh, giving some examples of uh, the writers of the day of uh, uh, john dryden he uh, names Thomas Sebut and uh, James Surley. Uh, they were the writers who wrote many dramas, but they, their dramas were nonsense. Uh, they did not write the dramas of uh, making any sense. How they wrote many in number, but uh, that number uh, was of no use. He would and surly were but types of the so he uh, says that Thomas Haywood and James Surly were the types of your kind of poetry but uh, they are not like you because you are the prince of thoughtless poetry and uh, they could be but uh, they are only your types the means your Thou last great prophet of Tortlozi, and you are the last prophet of Tortlozi. The repetition of the same idea in different words. So they wrote the the they wrote about the things uh, about which uh, something has been written already, but uh, they write in different language, different words. So that was uh, their uh, composition so oh, we can understand that uh, then they never wrote something original thou means you you for thomas said well the last prophet of don't lose he, because he repeated or he imitated in the way even the themes on which uh, literature was already present so that is the end of the poem thank you and have a nice day